This is part of the Smoky Mountain 500. I guess it is, uh, I don't know that it's 500 miles long. I guess it's pretty close. I, best I can tell, there's three sections and it takes about uh, a day and about 160 miles or so, depending on what you go around and stuff like that. But uh, this is off the Charhole Skyway near Teleco Plains, and I'm heading back towards Robbinsville. So I'm taking it easy. I'm by myself. Uh, absolutely no service out here. <laughs> so hopefully we don't get in any trouble, I guess. But uh, these. This is designed so that you have a day's ride with, and you'll stop at a uh, oh, at a motorcycle campground, iron horse, uh, two wheels, and something in such as Georgia, such as I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, it's, it's made to be done in three days, and they say you can take your time don't have to ride fast some people come down here and fly through it and do it in a matter of uh, a day or two days I guess but you know there's not a lot of use in doing that for me one it's been a long time since I've been off-road on a motorcycle and two I'm by myself so uh, there's a lot of uh, river crossings, creek crossings, whatever you want to call them. So, uh, make it interesting, I guess. There's really not any need to go fast. I come down last night. Uh, whenever I come down, I always stay at... Uh, Simple Life Campgrounds in Robbinsville. Alan, he's a he's a really good dude and uh, does a good job trying to you know take care of people there and stuff. They say this really isn't hard. A couple of places on it are. But uh, from what I gather, it's all pretty much like this. Oh, and Jeeps, Jeeps, they have a uh, kind of their own map that ends up, I think it's four or five days by Jeep, and you end up at uh, hotel areas each day at the end of the day. So whoever planned these out did a pretty good job. service roads, fire roads. There's 81F right there. I've been coming down here since not on the off-road part, not on these, but I've been bringing a, a bagger down here since I don't know, 16, 17. And uh, it's a blast. I rode all the, you know, the big roads around and a lot of the small blacktop roads. I usually come down by myself and put down a lot, a lot of miles and uh, come down through the week. I don't come down just to ride the tail of the dragon. Well, I usually do in a day. I, I uh, that's not the reason I come down. There's a lot better roads down here than that, as far as I'm concerned. But this is my first time coming down riding these type of roads. I 
I guess bear season is in and these guys have been running bears with their dogs. I guess they chase them kind of like coon dogs. Tree the bear, get the bear down. I don't know what they do, but uh, kind of interesting. Another biker. These guys are on dual sports, a little different for them. I did read if you're down here riding, make sure you hang to the extreme right around these curves because uh, some guy got plowed by another rider and uh, broke his arm. So, recently. been going down quite a bit ever since we got on this road we're on the yellow section yellow for you proper people gonna there's another road there I was going to go to uh, Arkansas I, I planned to come here and then it's supposed to be rainy and then uh, I kind of planned to go to Arkansas couldn't get nothing lined up in Arkansas they don't have as good of a adventure bike network of guys there that uh, put information out for whatever reason and uh, weather cleared up here just a few spotty showers maybe tomorrow and Saturday but uh, nothing too terrible so I went ahead and called Alan reserved me a cabin very reasonable uh, very reasonable So, uh, I just come down here instead. I like staying down here around Robbinsville. I, I know the area. And I, places to eat. Well, some of them have closed down since the last time I was here. I think we're about to the bottom. I looked down there and seen the creek. Kind of see it down there. I've got to tell you, I would hate to walk out of here though. <laughs> Look at that, that's nice. See, this is the stuff you don't get to see. Still too little long.
another camp spot down there isn't that nice wow Look at that. That'd be a nice place to camp here. I thought we'd have a crossing here. Well, look at that. I tell you, this traction control on this thing is simply amazing. I don't know <laughs> how they do it, but man, I tell you, it is something else. This road here is a little smoother than the last one. It's amazing how many people I run into that I can't believe Harley has made an adventure bike, adventure touring, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's not a trail bike, but uh, both Harley riders, your traditional Harley riders, like like myself, like I was, am still, I guess, but. Uh, those and the people that you know are riding uh, Africa Twins uh, KLRs I met a guy last night in the campground he was doing the uh, Trans America Trail he was uh, originally from Russia and uh, lived in Miami for 30 years this is the start of the Charahola Skyway so we just went below the Charahola Skyway so that was interesting but uh, you know most people can't believe that Harley has made something like this for whatever reason and uh, those that do see it you know think it's I get the traditional you know the leak oil you know stuff like that uh, but no it doesn't leak oil none of my Harleys have leaked oil take it easy some of these got a little sand and dirt on these corners I get all kinds of comments, good and bad. Most people are, are really impressed by it. And I've run into a few people that have actually ridden them that cannot believe how good it actually is. And uh, I have to agree with them. It's an amazing bike. So, but like everything, it has limitations. You're not going to want to take this out there and do what you 
do on a DR650. You know, it's uh, it just doesn't compete like that. But regardless of what it is, man, it is an absolute blast on these um, blacktop roads down here in the mountains. I mean an absolute blast. We turn off right here, somewhere, right here. <laughs>